it's very still this morning and I don't really have anything I'm doing right now rained last night it quit this morning the lake is nice and still uh, wind hasn't picked up yet I just thought you know I would just go get in the boat get in the kayak not kayak oh there's a message from Kevin <laughs> Kevin he's the one that I'm gonna go work on his distributor when it gets here so let's see what Kevin says So he's saying now that the uh, distributor might not get there till Saturday or Sunday. Of course, the wedding is Saturday. But he's got a Model A, and he talked to the young lady, and she said she'd be fine if he used the Model A to take her to the wedding. So that might happen. I might not wind up having to go over there today. That said, even more so, I've kind of got the day to myself. And uh, I love being on the water. In this weather, when the lake is this still, you know, it's not hot. I saw a fish jump over there. I didn't bring my fishing pole, because if I brought my fishing pole, I'd see a fish, then I'd throw a line in the water, and then I'd catch a fish. Then I'd have to deal with unhooking the fish and keeping the fish from being harmed by my hook and getting it back in the water, you know. And, oh, that just gets complicated. I've, I've reached a point in my life where I don't like to harm anything if I can help it anything living and I, I know you know I grew up fishing and, and all and I'm not uh, I don't think it makes me a sissy just because I've reached a point where I care about other living things enough to not want to be the bringer of death to them uh, there's enough death in the world as it is and you know, if I was out here catching a fish, it wouldn't be like I was hungry. You know, if you're hungry and you catch a fish, well, that's, that's a gift from God. That's food. That's your sustenance, and that's why God put animals in the world. But if you're just catching a fish, just say, hey, look at me. I caught a fish. See how clever I am. Well, that just seems selfish, I guess. So rather than do that, I, I, I like to let the fishes, I like to let the fishes continue their lives in the water. And it's the same way with other things, you know, we got, we got all kind of animals running around loose. And if I can go through life without having to harm any of them, I think I'd do that. By the way, I've taken on a new, uh, I'm taking on a new endeavor we decided to become a farmer. I'm going to become a worm farmer. <laughs> Years ago, I knew this lady up in Maine, and she, it's the first time I'd ever heard of this, she raised worms. And I said, why do you do that? And she said, because it makes the soil so nice. And I didn't really understand it then. It's like, that's just weird. You're raising worms. You know, that's just weird. But... You know, I, I planted tomato this last time. Planted tomato. They didn't come out so great. And uh, I was talking to a friend. Uh, and she said, you know, that she had a worm farm. And, and I knew exactly what she was talking about when she said that. Because she says, I just take the dirt out of my worm farm, plant the tomatoes in that. And they just grow like crazy. And I thought, yeah, that's... Having known what I knew from the other lady up in Maine... Uh, the idea of having a worm farm and using the dirt that they, you know, dirt, what worms do, and I don't know how they do it, it's like they just, they just crawl around in the dirt and they make the dirt better somehow, I don't know. And I guess, I didn't realize what you can feed them, you know, they, they love bananas and they love a lot of food that we would use for compost, so uh, she has us 
little clay set up and she goes out and she feeds the worms every day. She makes sure they got enough water and makes sure they're not too dry or too wet. Um, and um, back when I was a kid in Georgia, if we wanted worms, about all we had to do, depending on how wet it had been, was pick up something. Pick up a board, pick up an old sheet of tin or some kind of tarp and they'd be worms under there because they would, you know, up underneath where they were out of the hot sun, that the worms would live in that. And, uh, and you know, that's still true. I'm willing to bet if I went out here in the woods like today after it's already rained and just scratched the dirt back, I'd find worms, you know. But I got to thinking, well, that could be cool. I've started doing composting. Someone gave me one of them things that you turn, you know, you put your compost in there and you turn it and that uh, airs it out and you know I, I've been putting my compost in that and I got thinking well I could I could do the same thing with some well what I did was uh, when we got rid of the potting soil see we had uh, tomatoes and honey baby had some lilacs and we had some different things growing uh, and in the winter they're going to die off and you know to but, well, to get rid of the uh, to get the pots someplace for the winter, uh, I just took them all back and I poured all the potting soil out of all the pots in a pile. And I just put a piece of tin on top of that. And then the other day I went down and stuck a banana in there because I had seen online that worms like bananas. And so I've got a, I got a, a regular compost bin where you turn that hickey do, you know. And then I've got me another place with a piece of tin on top with some potting soil and every so often I'll throw something in there that I know that worms like and uh, I haven't gone to the fish bait store people do they go to the fish bait store and they buy a can a, a box of worms they pour it out and you know she was funny I listened to her talk today she says well I got some wild worms and I got some fish store worms <laughs> it's like the it's like there's a difference which there's not the only difference between wild worms and fish bait store worms is that someone caught the worms and put them in a container but I mean it was funny talking about wild worms you know I got wild worms and so I hadn't I hadn't bought any fish bait store worms. I just been uh, um, you know letting them uh, seeing if they'll come up to the banana that I put out there. I go down and check a banana every few days to see um, if any worms have come up and found the banana. You know, I guess you could say I'm running a free range wild worm farm. One lonely farmer. I'm running a free range wild worm farm. <laughs> I can't thank anybody who would appreciate that more than you, farmer. <laughs> Ow. My wrist hurts. Y'all know that. I don't need to complain about it, but uh, I am trying I am paddling here a little bit and it ain't I'm I think if I do it carefully, I think I can do it without hurting anything. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mosey along here. Uh, ain't no hurry to get anywhere, so I'm just gonna mosey along. And boy, it's beautiful. I can uh, I can turn the camera around, so instead of looking at me, you can be looking out there. I mean, is that great or what? Actually, I could put this camera up here. I think. Sit right about there. I did go get the tripod. I have a tripod that floats, and this is a waterproof camera. So if it did go in the water, uh, I could retrieve it. So I just, I just shut up, paddle along, let you enjoy the view.